Kansas State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Iowa's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that they It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Dumps it complete over the middle. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. goes the 34 yard line that is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis and if you can make enough of them in college probably gonna get a chance to play at the next level he reels off 10 yards in the counter They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. A lot of fast receivers can be one-dimensional, but he's been working with his coaches to become more competent as a route runner. His progression has been very impressive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Here they come. He's looking for six, and it's intercepted. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Gaining two, two yards. yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 22. Ready! He's going to try and scramble. He's out to the 30. Dives, and he's down. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down.
make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Big opening. He steps out around the 24-yard line. Inside the 10. Brought down at about the three-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Ready, put on, put Run right and hit the backfield. No gain on the play. That brings up second and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. Taken down right around the two yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it third. And Big goal. play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. All the big boys are on the field now as both teams have their big sets out there. Here's the fullback hit hard, and the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. That brings us fourth and goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Nice kick, plenty of distance. They line up to kick this one away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 26. Hey, check back, check back, Mike six, Mike six. Hey. Setting up play action. He chucks it downfield. Picked off by the senior. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. This defense has really been in sync during the first half. If they keep this up, it'll be a long day for this offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Kansas State holds a field goal lead. He fights forward to about the 46. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 3-0, Wildcats. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ready. Tackle made around the 19-yard line. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Fires incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. Kansas State is up a field goal. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. That makes it third and seven. Play action. That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Hawkeyes know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19. Looks to the back and can't connect. Complete, he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of 12 yards. From their own 31 yard line. First down. Mike Six. Mike Six. Ready. Blue 88. Makes it to the 41. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. First down. first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Mike six, set. Excellent open field tackle. That reception good for around four yards. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Let's go. 59 Philly. 
Gets it off as he's hit, complete. A five yard gain. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Short yardage situation here, it's third and one. the 47-yard line. Well, the idea here was obviously not to try anything tricky or force the ball down the field. A simple throw, and they got the first down that they needed. Let's go! Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. From the 47-yard line, second down. Got it with room to run, and he's taken down around the 43 yard line. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now, Kansas State is up by three. but he's going to lose yards here. Two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. What was that? It's second and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. Let's go! 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Hot. Yeah. Yeah. Easy, 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 easy. Eagle! Eagle! Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. We got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. Kansas State's got a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So... When you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Kansas State has a three point lead. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 29 yard line, it's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on that play. That'll bring up third and two. most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. The, play. the, ruling, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Gains his way to the 29 yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. From the 29 yard line, first down. Kansas State holds a field goal lead. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's a team of three on the right. That'll make it second and seven. the 14 yard line. It's first down. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. That makes it second and 14. From the 19 yard line, it's third down. Complete, he's got room. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. This is the eighth play of the drive. Brought down at the three. Call it a loss of two yards on the ball. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the three. Kansas State is up a field goal. Nice move, and he scores. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he tacks on the extra point. So an 11 play, 63-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 10-0. 
They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Ready! Red 18! Red 18! Here he goes. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Mike six. Mike six. Here we go. Tackle at the 30. They run the option, and the pitch man will get credit for a nine-yard gain. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Four down, four down. I got number 23. I got you, 23. Hold on! Check It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Game number 13 on the way. First down. Four down, four down. Mike six. Mike six. Ready. Ready. He's taken down around the six-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. Players in there, got it, touchdown. They had a mismatch and exploited it for the score. If you're right, the tight end had that one all the way, and there wasn't much the defense could do. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. So a six-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Iowa's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They put that to the side, gone out and executed. And I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. And he's tackled around the 41 yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From their own 41 yard line, first down. Kansas State is up by three. First down. So at the end of three, Kansas State leads it 10 7.
Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Set! Red! 18! He fights forward to about the 29. Game of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring us third. Kansas State has a three-point lead. Easy, 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 easy. Over, 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 over. Motion, motion, check. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Inside the 10, gets out to around the six. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. He gets out to about the six yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. He makes his way out to about the 35. That's a team of 10 on the We've got a first and 10, all on their own 35. Gets out to around the 48. That's good for a game of 13 yards. First down. Gets rid of it quickly. And he's leveled at the 21 yard line. Throws it to the outside. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back scores. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Kansas State holds a field goal lead. And he is drilled at the 15-yard line. Loss of 10 yards on the way. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Ready, move 80, move 80. Oh. 
down at a couple of miles here. Ball on the 15-yard line. They bring the quarterback down. Fourth and long here after the sack. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Excellent punt. And he just got drilled. The Hawkeyes coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for him. And the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Throws it and it's tipped away. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Just under two minutes in the game. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43. Gaining three yards. That'll bring up 36. Mike six. Mike six. He heaves it to the end zone. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Quick pass, intercepted. And he hits him hard to 37-yard line. yard line second down and he tackles him hard at the 39 two yard loss for the halfback Iowa will have one timeout remaining quick strike to the receiver and down he goes at about the 49 a quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Ready, black 90, black 90. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. And so that's going to do it. The Wildcats get the win. 17-14. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>